let's list some shoes. For this video, I'm gonna be using a pair of Kobe Crazy 8s that I found at the Goodwill for $14.99. The first step in this process will be preparing the shoes for photographing. I like to start by tying the shoelaces in a knot. I think this method looks a lot more presentable than the typical shoe tie. Simply tie both the laces together, then tuck behind the tongue of the shoe. To add some volume to the shoe, I like to add tissue paper that I get from ebay.com. I take one or two sheets, fold them in half, and stuff them into the shoe until the shoe looks full enough. Now luckily these shoes are clean so there's not much to clean up. Typically I'll find some areas that may need a touch up with the Clorox wipe. In this case it's just a sticker that I have to peel off. Again, tie the laces in a knot and tuck them behind the tongue. Grab some tissue paper or regular paper and stuff the shoe until it looks nice and full. Once the top of the shoe looks nice and clean, free of stains, I move on to the bottom. Here I notice something that most thrift stores tend to do, and that's use permanent marker to write the price on the bottom of the shoe. I've found that these Clorox disinfecting wipes, or even the off-brand disinfecting wipes, work really well at removing permanent marker. Now of course this step isn't always necessary, but I find that I can command a higher value when I remove the rocks from the small grooves on the bottom of the shoes. Just use a small instrument and get to picking. Once you're satisfied with how the shoe looks both on the bottom and the top, it's time for photographing. I find white backgrounds to be key when listing items on eBay, so I use blank white paper as a background. Find an area to tape up your white paper and lay it over a flat surface like so. A ring light isn't required, but it definitely helps, and if you wanted to pick one up, I'd go for the newer model on Amazon.com, but really any direct light source will work. Now when it comes to positioning the shoes, I like to snap nine specific photos. A front angle title shot, a rear shot of the heels, a side angle photo, one clear shot of the tongues, then moving on to the bottoms of the shoes, I like to get a full shot of the soles, a close shot of the toes, and one shot of the heels to show any heel drag. One top down shot of the inner soles, and a close up shot of the size tag. After finishing the photos, I move the items into my inventory system. If the shoes fit, I place them into a 12 by 15 self seal clear poly bag. Once sealed, I'll move them into my inventory system where they'll remain until they're sold. Once sold, it's time to package up the item. These USPS shoe boxes are free from USPS.com and fit just about any shoe that you can find. I like to start by packing the box with a couple sheets of tissue paper to help reduce any movement that might occur. I pull the shoes out of inventory and slide them into the box. Once they're in the box fully, I'll add another couple sheets of tissue paper for added dunnage and to add to the presentation a bit more. Next I'll get the box taped up nicely and move on to weighing it out. Grab a scale and weigh it out to the nearest ounce. This package ended up weighing a total of 2 pounds 6 ounces. Once I have the weight, I'll turn the box over and write out the name of the person receiving the item, how much it weighs, what's in the box, and the dimensions of the box itself. Heading over to my sold listings, I'll click purchase shipping label. I'll input the weight, the dimensions, and choose USPS Priority Mail when I'm using a USPS Priority Mail shoe box. Lastly, I'll print off the label and slap it onto the package. That's going to do it for how to prep, photograph, and ship a pair of sneakers to sell on eBay. Go ahead and toss me a comment down below if you're looking for tips, tricks on anything else you've sold on eBay and how to ship them. Thanks for watching, guys.